In other news today, a Louisville mother was killed and police arrested her neighbor for the crime. WDRB's Grace Haba found out how investigators linked the suspect, who is a registered sex offender, to the crime. Inside this home on Birchwood Avenue is where police found the body of 50 year old Mary Sollinger. And now one month later, just steps away is where police say they arrested the man who killed her. Bright yellow crime tape still stuck in the grass serves as a reminder of the horrors discovered here one month ago. Sollinger was found strangled to death after she was raped inside her home. Mr. Peters, you are charged with murder from events that happened on or about April 18th. Do you understand the charge against you? Yes. Thursday morning, James Peters, who lived just feet away from her, answering for the crime. So anytime you can close a case, um, give closure to the family, um, it's a tremendous relief for our detectives because these cases are hard. Police arrested the 66 year old Wednesday night after linking DNA evidence to him from the scene and finding Sollinger's blood on his clothes. It's a process investigators say was sped up thanks to a recent partnership with DNA Labs International. Because of our partnership, we're able to get back results a whole lot quicker now than we ever have. So we expedited that process tremendously. The arrest even more pressing for police due to his violent past. In 1997, Peters was convicted of raping and strangling a woman in Nelson County. Though sentenced to 35 years, he served just 21 and was released and added to the National Sex Offender Registry in 2018. Well, it was very important because, you know, he had a past history and now he's done it again. Um, how many more would he have done? I don't know, but you know, we can't take that chance. While the investigation into Sollinger's death remains ongoing, police say the DNA match is a big win. And without it, many questions would still be left unanswered. Sitting here right now, we would still be sitting here trying to find out who did this. Peter's bond was set for $1 million. He's due back in court on May 27th. In Louisville, Grace Haba, WDRB News.